Well, folks, fasten your seatbelt. Three pound fishing's on the road again, and today we're fishing Arca Butler in Mississippi. Folks, it's a great day. This is a 57,000 acre lake, dammed up in 1940. It's going to be a great day with my buddy Jojo Baker. All right, an interesting turn of events. So, we're on our way to Arca Butler. And we're actually here, we're sitting at a uh, rest stop called SIDS, I guess, a, a place you can get great minnows. But I'm meeting Jojo Baker, that's our plan today. We're gonna be uh, fishing Arcabella, we are. But here's a good tip. You gotta really take care of your trailers. Jojo unfortunately got um, a, uh, I guess a grease fitting, I guess, gave away on his trailer and he's stuck in Batesville and he's getting that fixed right now. So I'm sitting here waiting. But it's a great reminder that it's not just about the boat, it's also about that trailer. And uh, Jojo had thought he got it fixed about a week ago and apparently, you know, it wasn't fixed. And he's kind of paying the price right now. But anyway, he's on his way. He got it fixed, got it fixed rather quickly, but it's definitely put a delay on our trip. But we are gonna hit the water. Arca Butler, here we come, baby. I'm excited. He he is, you know, Jojo has talked and talked about Arca Butler being his favorite lake, even though he is on Grenada. So we're gonna put that to the test today and have a great time. And I asked the guy while I was there, the, main, the mechanic there, I said, hey, uh, does that axle look a little funny to you, the tire and stuff? Because it was kind of bowed a little, you know? Yeah. He said, no, it's supposed to be like that. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess it—I guess it wasn't supposed to be like that. Well, you're on the road now. That's—that's—that's that's, that's what's important. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm—I'm I'm headed to put some fish in the boat. I'm <laughs> mad at them now. <laughs> My man's been through it all today. It hasn't been an easy one on JoJo. It's been rough, man. Had to put new bearings in this morning on the way to meet Matt. It's been a bad day so far. Hopefully it's gonna get better though. I'm gonna make the fish pay for it. We are mad at him now. <laughs> now when we did arrive to the ramp, we did have a nice conversation with the law enforcement there in Mississippi, but we put that boat in the water and we were ready to be catching slabs. Folks, I'm excited about being on Arca Butler. Earlier I said I'd never been on it, but I have. Uh, in the past, it was extremely flooded. This is a different lake, without a doubt, this time around. Um, water uh, levels are down, and uh, apparently the fish are biting. But check how clear that water is. That's something you're not used to in Mississippi, so I'm excited to experience it. And uh, by golly, I'm with JoJo. We're gonna put some fish in the boat for sure. Oh, Perry, did you hit it, dude? Yeah, I think he did. Oh, he's got it. He just sucked it up. Ah, oh, little guy. There it is, first fish on Arca Butler. What's a short term for Arca Butler? What's the people just call it Butler? Butler. That's him. There's another one there. Let's see if I can get on that guy. Maybe a little bigger. Sorry, I'm moving around. Yeah, another little bit. Finish that TikTok. I'm going Sid's the Bigs. There you go. So then at Arcabutla, is it more roaming fish just like Grenada? Uh kinda. Yeah, you uh they was schooled up here. The last time I fished here, they were schooled up tight. And you could just sit on the school and catch twenty. Really? Yeah, there'd be schools of fifty. So what do you say? Unreal. Really? Just yep. so a, a tight knit fifty. Wow. Yep. Last time I was at Arcabutla, it was a flooded uh Mess. Mess. And it was yeah. very daunting and I don't get the sense of that at all. I can actually see the shoreline. The uh, I don't, I'm not going to ask you how many acres the lake is, but yeah, because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I will put the stats on the screen. Uh, but it is, you're saying it's significantly smaller than Grenada? <clears throat> oh yeah, way smaller. This is the smallest, uh, smallest of the, like, a lot of people call it the big three, sardis seen in Grenada. Uh, but I say there's a big four, and Arca Butler's number four, but it's actually number one on my list. Really? Yeah, I'd rather fish here than anywhere else in Mississippi. They just got a bigger average to me. Now, Arca Butler is probably the most northern lake in Mississippi that yes. I've fished, so it's it's easier to get to, which is nice. Yeah, from definitely from up your way. So 
So as as we're <laughs> as we're filming it here, we're also doing a TikTok. That's the right. world the world has become a TikTok world. So if you want to check out like videos that we're doing daily, you can go to TikTok. Uh, they're fun videos, you know. They're not necessarily all about fishing, but uh, you'll get little videos and like catches like that on a TikTok. That was a fun one. <clears throat> he was just sitting there, pretty. Now you're fishing with the seven foot Ozark rod. Yep, seven foot. It's the uh, Pro Series Dock Shooter. I just got it not too long ago, like just a few days ago before the last tournament, and it was. I mean, you can't beat this. Thing. This thing is awesome. I know they're real popular, man. And they're 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 stiff. They're real stiff, but they're sensitive at the same time and that's you can't find that it's either you know not stiff yep. and super sensitive or yep. the other way around don't worry folks i'm sticking with my uh my trusted 10 footer <laughs> <laughs> hey i but, love that thing too yeah well that's a fantastic rod i i just i just haven't gotten to the you know fishing with shorter length rods yeah but i'm sure i'll get there ways on that one yeah one. aggressive fish which is really cool yeah and that clear water did you see how far down you can see him come yeah. you used to clear water i guess or clearer water yeah it, that, that's a great point the water isn't as muddy as mm -hmm. that, that nope. you used to see nope. down south of mississippi that's a good fish right there good yeah. arca butler fish yeah. i'll show you what i was fishing with there That's some clear water, folks. So, I'm fishing with one of my hair jigs. It's the, uh, it's pretty much the clown. I take that back. That's a little wicked coot. It's kind of like the carrot. It's just the, it's just the carrot here. Let me show you. Here. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of these Mississippi lakes, a lot of these dirty water lakes, this one not being one of them. That uh, that carrot bait, really bright colors, which is kind of unique. I'm not used to that. That's fun. So today we've got like 95 degree temperatures, no wind. It is so <laughs> hot out here. So we're gonna be sweating, losing some weight. Definitely. But I've done I've done a little weight loss already this morning fixing that boat trailer. I was telling everybody about how important it is to to. Uh, maintain your trailers but i also told them that you had been already instructed that it was a, it was fine and it looked good and good to go and yeah and still had problems but you definitely especially when you're going at least over 50 miles you may not go that far to your main lake or whatever but if you go over 50 miles man you really got to keep a check on that grease and stuff because you end up like i was and i just greased mine two days ago so and it still went out <clears throat> so we're we're still casting which is interesting. I don't know why. Why wouldn't we be going right up on them, them being as deep as they uh, are? They're roughly 14 foot. There's so. no reason today because the wind's not blowing, but uh, we could drop it right on them. But this is my effective way of doing it. I just like casting. It's just funner to me. Here you come. So he's right on that fish. And there it is. Look at that. On cue. Little guy. That ain't too bad. That's an eater. Oh, yeah. That's solid fish. 13 incher. He said that's a little eater and he said 13 inch i don't know if they go together but <laughs> in, Miss in mississippi i guess they do which is if I can get the G out of now again he's using the seven footer from ozark rod that is that's good fish it's pretty fish you know they got a lot of green and clear water You can beat the side of the breeze. Oh, I know it. I love it. I just love it. I love it. There. Little guy, but a lot of fun. So I think I think a lot of people talk about like getting confused with what is a crappie, what is not a crappie. So Jojo was just we were just talking about how he had gar and there's carp and those type of things that look like crappie. Yeah. So distinguishing feature of a of a carp 
that you can say, hey, that's a carp versus a crappie? Um, if you can ever get to where you can see its tail, its tail is going to be super sharp. It's going to be a V in its tail. A crappie is going to, you know, they're going to be kind of blobbed up. You're almost not even going to be able to see a tail unless he's swimming. Most of the time they're sitting still. Um, most of the time. But like a, a carp or a drum, they're going to have a sharp tail. It's going to be like that. It's going to be a... Um, like a, you can dis distinguish the V in the tail. It's going to be a sharp V tail, kind of like a shad. A shad's got them too. And a gar and a catfish are just long and skinny. You'll notice them. They may look like a good mark at first, and then once you get up on them, you kind of get a different angle on them maybe, They'll, and they turn sideways or come after your jig. Um, they're going to be longer. You know. So is there any way to distinguish a carp or a gar if they're headed straight towards you, if, until you see that tail? Um, you would have to get a different angle on them. Or um, I, I just, if I don't know for sure, I always just drop my jig on just to make sure. And if they chase it, you know, they kind of turn a little bit, I can tell what they are at that point. And then I'll just pull it away from them. That way I don't have to deal with Some, getting a gar on hook and stuff. Sometimes, I mean, people like use, what's the, been the water depth of these fish so far today? It's been 12, 14, yeah, right? Yeah, 12, 14 and 20 foot of water. So I guess number one idea would be that if it's if it's completely swimming at a different depth, it yep. would be something that would yep. trigger your mind to say, oh, maybe not a crappie, but. Uh, and uh, like I say, a, cra a crappie usually sits still and any other fish, they're going to be, most of the time, they're going to be on the move, you know, like a catfish. Uh, here we have the White River and they're always hunting, they're always eating, always you see them bust through bait, uh, bait piles and stuff all the time. And, um, but they're, a uh, gar's the same way, they're going to be moving a little, you know, a crappie will just be sitting there. That's, that's the way I distinguish or tell people whenever I, they want to know what a crappie looks like, it's that right there. That's what they look like to me. On that screen, they look just like a hand. You know, a, cat, a catfish, they're gonna be like this. A gar's the same way, just a little skinnier. Mm. We were talking about that. I thought you guys enjoy that because uh, that's probably one of the most frustrating things when you go to lakes, you're like, what is a crappie? I mean, we always talk about it looking like a football, but uh, the sharp fins, yep. boy, it's, yep. a, it's a great tall tail. You guys got that. That's good. Hey, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Jojo, come on over here. You check out Jojo on his guide service. Try to let guide service. He's gonna put put you on them. What are the lakes you you guide on? Uh, Sardis, Arkabutla, Ross Barnett, all the southern lake, all of Mississippi. If you got a lake in Mississippi you want to come to, we got it. That's awesome. Get a hold of them, Arkabutla. I like it, and it's closer than Grenada. Yeah, it is, yeah. It'll cut <laughs> an hour off your trip or two. That's awesome. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.